Great Debaters Contest is powered by Blaze, by Safaricom, the Youth Network. Welcome to the Great Debaters Contest. We continue with our theme on sustainable development goals. This is our Machakos edition. I am Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Yumbok. The motion today is assimilation is a better model than integration for creating cohesive African societies. We have St. Francis Missiani going against St. Angela's. Mariam, two saints. What do you think? I don't know. We'll let them answer those questions for us. Proposal number one, you have three minutes. All animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. Representing my school, I'm Lisa Muli, strongly proposing the motion that states, assimilation is a better model than integration for creating cohesive African co societies. In order to understand this motion, we need to understand the terminologies used. There is assimilation. This is the process of becoming part or making someone become part of a group, country, or society. Integration is to mix with and join a society or group of people, often changing to suit their way of life, habits, and customs. Cohesion is the act, of st or act or state of keeping together. Model is an excellent example of something, and society is the people in general living together in communities. The question here is, why do we need cohesion in Africa? We need cohesion to achieve national objectives and goals and to achieve social, economic, and political development. Countries that have been assimilated are some like the United States of America. Tools used in assimilation include constitution, meaning everyone has equal rights, national goals of education, common language, common festivals, and common value system. On to my first point. There will be no ethic or tribal prejudice. Why? Ethnicity causes instability, civil conflicts, and poverty in Africa. But once we are assimilated, this means that our culture will be put on hold. Thus, people would not embrace their culture more. So ethnicity problems would be eradicated. In reference to my opening statement, George Orwell in The Animal Farm said that all animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. We see tribal groups like the Kikuyu getting more values rather than the Digo. We also see Chinua Achebe saying that the problem in Nigeria is not the air they breathe, the food they eat, but the corruption they get through nepotism, tribalism, and other forms. We see in 1994, 800,000 people in Rwanda in 100 days, mostly the Tutsi were killed by the Hutu who are the majority. But we see now through assimilation, no one is allowed to regard their culture in Rwanda. In the Daily Nation on the 10th of September in 2016, it is reported that a Kenyan MP was driven to the police station by a Rwandese just because they asked which tribe the Rwandese was from. My second point. There will be equal opportunities to access social amenities in Africa, things like hospitals. We see on, in the Daily Nation, on March 15, 2017, an 11-year-old died of cancer. Why? Because the doctors had gone for a strike, which lasted up to 100 days. But once we are assimilated, we see that we'll have more amenities from other countries. Thank you. Opposition, we'll hear your introduction. You have three minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to make a beautiful music, what do you do? There's something simply that you need to do here. Take a white note and a black note. Assimilate the two. You will get the best music that you need. Well, my fellow opponent, maybe I may start with a question. Wouldn't there be poverty? Wouldn't poverty will be modified if it's integration? Ladies and gentlemen, there are terms here that we need to understand. Assimilation, integration, modification, cohesive. Let me start with assimilation. Yes, she did give us the definition of assimilation. But wait, 
assimilation according to me is fully absorbed obtaining new identity but integration integration maybe you've heard of integration from national integration east african integration integration what is integration integration simply means bringing differences together well with no distraction of the original identity with no distraction but modification of the goodness sharing of the goodness cohesive cohesive simply means bringing together and coming up with different ideas and a strong foundation model is simply a system that can be duplicated in a married ways therefore the motion the motion simply wants the africa to be brought together the motion seek that africa with the 54 countries well these 54 countries they have different pros and cons but at the same time they have to be brought together to create one all but by a workable model but which model is it assimilation is it integration no integration is better here and if it's not the better it's the best well in 1936 2500 out of 4.5 million of population of the algerian was assimilated Ladies and gentlemen, I'm trying to disapprove the assimilation here. They tried to, to apply assimilation, but I bet it never worked. That is why only 2,500 out of 4.5 million were assimilated. Thank you. We'll hear your bottles now, beginning with the proposals. You have one, three minutes, sorry. I strongly concur with Tony Blair. When he said, if we don't empower the people, then their houses become, ha their houses become havens of terrorism. Isaura Teku from the St. Angela's Girls strongly proposing the motion that states assimilation is a better way than integration in bringing cohesiveness in Africa. Just as my fellow opponent has stated, if you want to bring good music, you assimilate together a black note and a white note. Let me ask you, aren't you just agreeing with us that assimilation is a better way of bringing cohesiveness in Africa? You ask that ass assimilation will bring about poverty in Africa. Well, assimilation brings us together. Like for example, um, Kenya, we borrowed money so that we could be able to go and build our SGR. And this gave us a debt. But through assimilation, if we be able to assimilate, other countries will come in and join us and it will be much easier to come and pay this debt. On to my first point. Assimilation brings about empowerment to the people. As we all know, empowerment is one of the tools of cohesiveness. It saddens me and as much brings a lot of joy to my heart to take note of an article that was there in the Daily Nation on, on the date of March 23rd, 2017. A story of a young beautiful girl whose hands were chopped were chopped off by her husband simply because she could not be able to get pregnant, simply because she was barren. But the, the LG company, the Life's Good company, came in and they, they came in and helped her by paying all her medical bills. They came in, the governor, the governor's wife, Mutua, the governor's wife of Machakos County, the first lady, came in and encouraged that lady. That, that shows that this small region, it is assimilated. And if, 
all of us as Africa, we can be able to agree and come up as one and set our differences apart and be able to, assimil to get assimilated. We will be able to solve each and every problem that comes our way. Assimilation is also a better way of bringing security in our country because it fosters peace. It unites us together as we settle our differences and come together. And if we come together, we become one family. And let me ask you, will you be happy to see a member of your family suffering? I guess not. Let us all embrace assimilation as a method of bringing cohesiveness in Africa. And I assure you, you will not be disappointed. Thank you. Opposition, you have three minutes for your cross-examination. Elizabeth Mutia representing St. Francis Missiani Girls High School. Malcolm X once said that if you have black coffee, which means it's definitely too strong, and you want to make it lighter, what do you do? You simply integrate it with cream. But what happens when you pour too much cream? You even, when you pour too much cream, you forget whether you had coffee in the first place. What was hot becomes cold. What was strong becomes weak. What used to keep you awake puts you to sleep. Cultural identity. In integration, integration is the only way where we're going to see the uniqueness of each culture upheld. And cultural up upholding of the cultural identity is going to promote cohesive cohesiveness in the African societies. For instance, in the tourism sector. Let's take, for instance, the tourism sector. How will someone come to your country to see something new if you are assimilated into a common way? You, you will come to the Akamba land to see the wood carvings. You go to the Maasai to see the beadwork. Why? Because we are not all assimilated to practicing one, one activity. Equality. Equality can only be reached when there is integration, whereby the uniqueness and the rights of each is at, it's, it's respected. There's no, there's no superiority in integration. Let me take you back some, some time back in history. When the French tried to, the French tried to assimilate the, the Algerians, what happened? In as much as Emperor Napoleon III during, in 1863, tried to say that their coming to Algeria was not to exploit them, but to bring them the benefits of civilization. Did, did it work? Did assimilation work? Did it bring cohesiveness in the African society? The answer is no. Why? Because you see that in the 19th century, the Muslims were, con were considered as the second class the second class citizens in Algeria, whereas the European settlers were superior. So, ladies and gentlemen, join me in uh, agreeing that the word assimilation is just a better word, uh, uh, another word of baptizing the word dictatorship. The French wanted to dictate the culture and the religion of the Algerians, and that led to so many problems in Algeria. It did not, brought, it did not, it did not promote unity in Africa, because you see that there was discrimination for example, the Algerians were expected to learn the French language. Our colonization, um, the assimilation took a period of 130 years, and some of them were not able to understand the French language. And what happened? They were cut off from job opportunities, from the education sector. Is that how we are going to promote a better, co uh, um, a cohes cohesive African societies? Join me in agreeing that we are in the 21st century. Somebody help me in saying that there's no way you'll want it, it beats logic that somebody, having enjoyed the fruits of, the, of our freedom, would want to go back to the dark days, the colonial period, where you're assimilated, where you're colonized. Thank you. The proposals have been asked in cases of, of a country such as Kenya that has 47 communities, what would they all assimilate into? And the opposition have been challenged, if we do not adopt assimilation, then do we not risk on missing out the benefits such as transfer of culture, exchange of ideas and all those things? Third proposal, take the stage. You have three minutes. So a dream is an illusion, but a dream stops being an illusion when it is made to come to reality. 
I'm Juro Cynthia Carrera from St. Angeles, and I'd like to start by answering my question. Uh, if we want to assimilate Kenya, then we'll first have to put aside all our differences. So it means that we'll have to come together and agree on what we want. If we are assimilating uh, Kenya, it doesn't mean that we'll have to if we're assimilating Kenya, it means we have to bring everyone together so that we don't end up having any more uh, disunity in Kenya. So we will have to agree together. Uh, you've asked how assimilation has helped uh, Algeria because the French were there. At that time, those people were being colonized. So when the, French, when the French people came here, they came with an aim of colonizing people. They brought so much force. So you don't expect, if the French came here with force, that everyone is going to cooperate together. But if we see the assimilation that has been used in Rwanda, those people have gone so far. They don't regard themselves as Amahutu, Amahutu, Amatutsi. They don't do that. And that is why we have seen Rwanda has really taken a great step economically, socially, and also politically. As my friend has said what Tommy Blair said, if we don't empower people, their houses become havens of terrorism. For example, in Somalia, we see that many people will blame, it, will blame this on the religion, but this is not true. The, religion, the Muslim religion is mainly about instilling values. If we had assimilation, so many values would, be have, would have been instilled together. Uh, any person who has integrity in, he, in herself or himself would not just go killing. I know that many people will say that the Muslims believe in the jihad war, that this is what is going to help them have, uh, go to heaven, but this is not the case. These people are, are extremists. That is why they think that. And also, let's give an example of Wanogo. Wanogo is a very, is a very known thief, and he turned to thievery because he lacked values. If we come together with assimilation, we are going to instill values, and we are not going to have things like differ. And also in Baringo, we are having clan clashes. What is causing these clan clashes? Cattle, cattle rustling, and that is why we are having so many people killing each other. Just the other day, there was a story on the Daily Nation that on March, that there is this five-year-old boy who was, who was in Baringo. They were with, he was with his family. But what happened, the family was killed, and him being left alone as a surviving child got shot too. He got shot in the head, and right now there's a bullet lodged in his head. If you are that boy, I mean, the boy has, has no family, has nothing that is left for him. And right now, he has a bullet lodged in his, in his head. If we had assimilation, something would have been done for, about this. We are trying to cross a river without a bridge. We will not get to the other side. If we don't take assimilation, we will not get to the other side. Thank you. Opposes, you have three minutes to respond to the audience. Karen Yamasio from St. Francis Missiani Girls High School. I'd like to correct my fellow opposer that she, it was just a slip of the tongue that she mentioned the word assimilation. She meant to say, if you want to get good music, just integrate the white knot and the black knot. And to answer the question about wearing uniform that has completely been assimilated, sorry for that. We only copied the design, but the raw materials are strictly from Africa, which means we are still upholding our culture. Ever thought of how it is possible to travel from Kenya to Uganda without a passport? Ever thought of how it's possible to travel from Kenya to Tanzania without a passport? This is simply through the integration of the three countries to form the East African community. And in that, they did not change, they did not dictate on how to do, but they all agreed to still uphold our culture. It's true. Inter integration promotes equality. It's true, it promotes cultural identity. But then it's also true that integration supports economic diversification. What do I mean? I mean through the use of trade blocks in the African communities. For example, the countries in a certain, like Comesa, the countries there bring their commodities from their different countries. And with bringing that, they are bringing unity in the community. Remember, they come to sell products from their own country. And these products are basically from their economic activities. And these economic activities are as a result of upholding their cultural identity. It's a waste of time 
to, de- to debate over something that is so obvious. It's a fact that integration is the best model to bring unity, a cohesive African community. Like, hello, who can help me convince these people that integration is basically the best model to provide a cohesive community? I'd like to give you an example that integration is real. Integration is real. For example, if I'm tired of eating a simple orange and a simple lemon, and I want to get the best, the best juice, what do I do? I just integrate the orange plant and the lemon plant, and I get a tangerine, of which a tangerine is more delicious than an orange or a lemon. So simply, through tribes, through different tribes, through love, tribes of different communities have come together and they have integrated with still upholding their culture and have brought up the perfect rainbow that is coloring the African communities. And that is our unity. Thank you. Final submissions now. Proposition, you have one minute. Assimilation doesn't necessarily mean that we do away with our cultures. Take, for example, the Rwandese. They still showcase their cultures, their cultural dances, yet they are assimilated. Assimilation brings about the ideology of removal of boundaries. Through this removal of boundaries, we will be able to interact freely with these other countries. Like we can be able to move to Egypt and be able to interact with them and get their cultural, their political, their social, and learn from them. Unlike if we be integrated, there will still be boundaries that will hinder us that we will not be able to move there effectively. And when we interact with them, we will be able to make the juice more sweeter, as my opponent had said. Integration has always been there, and it will always be there. Why don't we give assimilation an opportunity? Yes, we are still integrated, and we still have some problems that have not bring about cohesiveness in Africa. Like we still face insecurity. Like for example, in our country, we still have insecurity. Let's give assimilation a chance and enjoy the fruits of assimilation. Just like the United States of America, enjoy the fruits of assimilation. Thank you. Opposition will hear your closing submission. You have one minute. Just like a judge gives all his or her final judgment, I'm here to give my verdict. And before I go on, please, the, my opponent, please stop contradicting yourself. You just told us that through integration of the different communities will bring a juicy community. So please just cross over the other side and help me pro- promote this motion. I'd like to give you a real example. All of us here are a product of integration. The question is how? Through marriage, your father and your mother came from different cultural background, but they did not change. No one dictated each other's cultural fear. And it is through this, they integrated and they mixed and they brought up a perfect, a beautiful, a beautiful model. And that model is me and you, unless you believe you're not the best. So in conclusion, assimilation. Assimilation is definitely not the best model, but integration is the perfect model to promote a cohesive African society. I rest my peace. The proposer, St. Angela's Girls, Lisa had a powerful introduction with relevant quotation to contextualize her topic. That was very good. Isaura, you are a good speaker. And then I like it when you brought in the story of the lady whose limbs were cut off by the husband and that really captured the audience and it helped to show your conviction for the topic. And then Cynthia, that was good, especially your mastery of the language was good. St. Francis, Messianic girls, Elizabeth, you took a lot of time defining the terms, all right? So you didn't have enough time to give your submissions. So sometimes you want to economize on the time so that you have enough time to start off your team very well. The person who stood out for me uh, in your team is Elizabeth because you're very good and creative 
speaker, even in your cross-examination. I like the example that you gave uh, in your submissions. So keep up uh, what you did. Karen as well, uh, very good role playing as that speaker. So for me, it was well done, quite tight in terms of the scores, but all the best to both of you. St. Francis Missiani, you are awarded 68%. Please give them a round of applause. And St. Angela's Girls Secondary School, with a one point difference, you are awarded 69%. You are our winners for the debate. Thank you, audience. Bravo and a good job to both teams on stage. It was a very tight race. Thank you to those here and those at home for watching. Follow us on Twitter at Great Debaters EA. Remember, hashtag GDC for SDGs. I am Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Yambok. Thank you for watching. The Great Debaters Contest is powered by Blaze by Safaricom, the youth network.